storms across the area. Thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Moritz. I'm Matt Fleener. Chris Katz has the night off. Our first alert weather team is on this threat tonight. They've been watching the changing conditions all day long. This video from Storm Tracker 9, Nick Bender during the uh, tornado warnings this afternoon. Now let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Brian Busby. And Brian, what are you keeping an eye on right now? The winds, which are still pretty strong. So again, we have cloudy skies that are out there. We have the wind, so it doesn't necessarily automatically mean severe thunderstorms. doesn't automatically mean tornadoes. That threat is over, but the winds are still howling, so it could cause a few problems here and there. Tree branches, that sort of thing, even some power outages. But here's a look at first look at live radar. What's left of that line that developed past the big one that moved through now in Illinois, continues to press farther toward Chillicothe and farther toward even Marshall. That's where we see some of that activity continuing to move away, but it's on the lighter side of things. On the Kansas side as well, Atchison City, a few showers as well, even a couple rumbles of thunder or possibility. South of the I-70 corridor, not that much going on, but still I cannot rule out the possibility of a stray shower or two. This is a massive storm system. We gave you the first alert saying that it was going to be more active to the east and northeast of us and also over the Tennessee Valley. That's the way it's going to pan out and look at this. Yes, that is snow that is flying in the Dakotas and also portions of Minnesota. To talk more about the scope, here's meteorologist Neville Miller is here for midday. And Brian, uh, certainly some active weather, not just here locally, as you mentioned there around the region. And we're looking here at Little Rock. And here's video of a tornado. They had a large tornado in the Little Rock area. You're also looking at uh, some of the damage there, a broader picture. And hospitals, they are preparing for a surge of injuries as this tornado hit the Little Rock area along with that 70,000 without power and the governor has declared a state of emergency. So a serious situation there for Little Rock as a tornado hit earlier today. I do want to show you some of the power outage numbers here and you can see a lot of green on the map. So in Missouri, 20,000 outages, Kansas, a little more than 12,000. You can see Arkansas now approaching 100,000 outages and still seeing Lots of thunderstorms, lots of severe thunderstorm warnings, tornado warnings into eastern parts of Iowa, western Illinois, and now the latest metropolitan area under the gun with a tornado warning is Memphis, really just north of the city of Memphis. A very powerful uh, thunderstorm here, actually a number of tornado warnings with this storm, Brian, likely a large tornado impacting North Memphis now making its way towards the northeast. So uh, this active night certainly not done yet. Yeah, our colleagues are pretty busy out throughout that area. And for us, as mentioned, the gusty winds every bit of 20 mile per hour. Sustained winds gusts higher than that, close to 40 out toward Lawrence, 41 in Cameron. That's going to be the big story for the rest of us this evening. It won't be this gusty all weekend long, and we'll spell out those details coming up a little later on. Brian Neville just said it. Strong winds really an issue throughout the metro today. And KNBC 9's Dennis Evans is in Lee Summit, where the gusts have been getting stronger throughout the day, Dennis. You know, they really were. When we got out here earlier today, it was kind of a light wind, and then it became a little bit more sustained. And as the day's gone on, it's really become kind of so gusty out here. Just a few minutes ago, it was so quiet. We were looking behind us and watching the wind. Uh, wind blow the flag and all of a sudden a gust came through and I almost had to go into like the storm stance to keep myself from getting knocked over. Anything you're holding right now, if you're not holding it tight, it's going to get blown away. Now storm season definitely has arrived. This morning we stopped in the Kansas City Emergency Management Office. They were keeping an eye on the weather radar as well as the conditions outside. They said this time of the year, the weather in the area, it can change so quickly. Their advice Stay alert and informed to make sure that you stay safe. When we do have severe weather, your best option is to get indoors, someplace secure, not just the wind and the hail, but you also have to be cognizant of the lightning. We've actually had lightning warning today. So we have had lightning in the Kansas City area, even though the storms themselves are well to our south and east. So just be informed, be prepared. And the biggest thing is definitely be aware because like I said, just standing around out here, it doesn't seem like it's that windy sometimes and then all of a sudden a gust will just come along. So make sure you're checking around your house and making sure that you're bringing in things that are easy that could easily be uh, blown away. Also things like basketball hoops that are outside. Lay those down flat because a gust of wind can come along and if you're walking past that or a kids near that or your car for that matter, it will definitely fall over. It is very, very windy out here today and I just can't believe how strong those gusts are and how they just come out of nowhere. So you definitely have to be prepared. Reporting live in Lee Summit, Dennis Evans, 
KBC 9 News. Right, Dennis, thank you. Be safe out there. There are some power outages in our area tonight. Evergy is reporting about 14,000 customers without power. That's across our area, including the Topeka area. And again, if you haven't yet, now's a good time to download our free KBC 9 News app. During severe weather season, you can use it to check out our latest forecast and live radar. You can also set alerts for your area so you'll get the information when you need it. And it's free wherever you get your.